Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my review of Peach Girl, um, the original eight volume series by Miwa Ueda. I only own volume three uh, physically, but I acquired the rest of the series digitally through by uh, through Kodansha, um, as they own the digital license. I have not read any of the spinoff series. I only own the first series, uh, but this is one I've wanted to read for ever. I've always been intrigued by Peach Girl, always wanted to read it, and just never had the chance. Um, but I really loved this. For something that was written in 1998, um, this was so, like, like still, like the humor was still very funny. Um, there was a lot of stuff in it, obviously, that's very blown out of proportion, over the top, and, and, and honestly just inappropriate or uncomfortable. Um, that shouldn't have happened but at the same time I went you know what this was written like 24 years ago um it doesn't bother me I'm gonna enjoy it I know it's ridiculous I've read a lot of romance series from that time in the early 2000s to know um what goes on in these types of stories um uh, to really just turn my brain off and not be bothered by it but this is a this is a classic uh girl fight, jealousy, um, multiple pretty guys situation, um, that is very entertaining. I read most of it in one sitting because it just, I was so compelling. I couldn't put it down. So our main character is Momo. She's on the cover. She's really, really tan. Uh, she used to competitively swim, but now she's really self-conscious because her skin is so dark. And as soon as she goes in the sun, she just gets more dark. Um, and she is under the impression that nobody will like her if her skin's not lighter. Um, the boy that she has had a crush on forever apparently only likes uh, light-skinned girls. And so... Um, she tries her best to put on tons of sunblock and stay out of the sun. She doesn't swim anymore. She doesn't, you know, she's basically put her whole existence around trying to not get any more tan, um, which is very sad and honestly quite relatable for a lot of people. Um, you know, you find something about yourself physically that you, you don't, that you're not comfortable with or you don't like, um, and, and you kind of focus on it. Uh, to a point where it can become detrimental to your mental health and just general life, uh, enjoyment of life. And so there is another girl in her class that's her friend named Sai, um, and she is a horrible human. Um, absolutely horrendous. She's this, like, cutesy, like, everybody loves her. She's manipul manipulative and just awful. Um, she plays innocent with everything and manages to backstab every person that she comes in contact with. Um, and so this is a story of Momo trying to land the boy of her dreams um, while Sai keeps coming in from the sidelines and really like undercutting and, and making things horrible for Momo and, her, and, and everything that's going on around her. So there's another boy as well who really likes Momo. Um, he's kind of a playboy, but he also... He does genuinely like her. Um, and so there's just a lot of... It's kind of the four of them, the two boys, and then her and Sai are kind of the main characters. And it's just a whole lot of drama, misunderstanding, ridiculous backstabbing um, plots and schemes and revenge between the four of them. Uh, and it is delightfully ridiculous. The artwork is wonderful. Um... It's fully, you know, 90s, early 2000s shoujo style. Um, I just, I love it personally. I thought it was charming. I thought the story was ridiculously stupid. Um, but like, I didn't, I didn't find myself annoyed because a lot of the times you get those stories where, you know, someone's being bullied and the girls are being petty and catty and awful. And a lot of the time I just go like, ah, this is annoying. I'm just getting annoyed. 
I, I don't, if this keeps going, I don't want to read it anymore. For some reason, this was just like, <laughs> it was so, so ridiculous. I just couldn't put it down. I thought also what was refreshing was that Momo, she's kind of tough, but she is very like feminine. She's, she's very, uh, she's very girly. She's very like, um, kind of soft and mushy on the inside so you know even when you think like oh we got this really tough main character she's gonna beat the crap out of this stupid girl who she thought was her friend like you know she is really emotional she is really hurt by the things that people are saying about her or you know the things that the the guy that she likes thinks of her um and so it's that nice, like, kind of mixture of, yeah, she's she's tough and she can stand up for herself if she absolutely needs to. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that what people are saying don't doesn't phase her or hurt her in any way. Um, and I just really thought as a main character, she's quite entertaining. I really liked her. Um, the boy that she likes, Toji, I think is his name. Whatever, he's, he's nothing. But the other guy, um, who I don't know if his name is on the back or not... Kylie, um, at least that's how, how it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I have a feeling that Tokyo Pop like changed that name slightly, but anyway, that's what it, it's, it is in here. Who knows? Um, I think he's hilarious. I think he's funny. He's entertaining. And, um, yeah, this is great. I, I think if you like Shoujo and you've not read this, uh, please do. It's so funny. And again, take it with a grain of salt. It was written in the nineties. Like, things happen in here that that are not appropriate that are not great um but it's there's a reason why this this series is still talked about and mentioned to this day it really you can see set the groundwork um for a lot of other things that came after it uh this is a hoot and a half i will read this again it was so funny uh, i found myself laughing constantly throughout every single volume um and just being like what is going on what is happening uh it's been a while since i've felt that way about a manga particularly a a shoujo manga um so this was a blast definitely i recommend reading it if you have any other suggestions of things i should pick up uh please let me know otherwise i'd like to know your your thoughts on peach girl if you've read it i hope to one day get my hands on and be able to read the uh other spin-off stuff as well Uh, But for now, I will be content with finally having been able to read the original series. Anyway, thanks for watching.